Hey everybody, um, Mega Old School here. Um, wanted to do a quick video to show you guys my uh, downstairs home theater collectibles room where I have all my collectible stuff. Stuff from when I was a kid up till now. Some stuff I've made for cosplay. Some different stuff I'm wanting to make videos for. Um, then if maybe there's some things that you guys want to see more of or more more detail, I could do videos for just certain things. So I want to keep this short so it isn't too long and drug out. So we'll just kind of start over here in the corner. Um, this is where I have my bookcase. Um, this is where I have all of my Star Wars collectibles that I had since I was a kid. Um, you know, that was my favorite movie. Always has been. Um, I saw it when I first was like nine. So, you know, it's been with me for a while. So, um, even from the top, we've got, uh, I got my figures. Um, coming down, a little newer, we got a couple autographs. I got Billy D and David Prowse. Um, I got David Prowse at the Star Wars Celebration. First one they ever had. And then I got Billy D at a local Comic Con here in Kansas. Um, going further down, more stuff. Um, some of the 90s figures. Um, then down here, we can see the. I got a picture of myself here in my Mandalorian costume that I made. I was a member of the Mercs. Um, may still be a member of the Mercs. Um, they've been sending me some emails because there's no trooping around here. Um, so I haven't had much activity with them, but I did make a costume, make a kit, and I did get accepted. So um, some ships at the bottom. Um, over here in the corner is my weapon I made that I carry with my kit. Um, it was made from a Nerf gun, heavily modified. Um, and then I've got a dark saber that I built as kind of one of the first things I ever made out of some cheap wood. Just to see how it would go. That's pretty cool. It came out good. So, um, then going on over here. Oh, also, um, I did add LEDs to my case. So it can be turned on. And then it can be changed colors, depending on, this probably doesn't show very well, but you can change the colors to different things according to what you want it to look like. Or you can change colors automatically. Um, it's just an LED strip I bought off Walmart, Walmart, eBay. Um, and then had to split it up into strips that are put underneath each one and then they're wired together um, down the side of the bookcase um, so they're all joined together um, so yeah that's that um, coming further around I've got my Star Wars Celebration this was the first one they ever held in Colorado um, it rained the whole time every day um, so it made it difficult but it was fun um, I've never made it to another one since because they're so far away. Um, Star Wars poster, of course. Um, coming up over here, um, I did have to sell some of my... Well, I didn't have to. I sold some of my older Star Wars pieces that I didn't have room to display. Um, and got some hot toys with the money that I got out of those. So um, I wanted, wanted that money to go back into the Star Wars collectibles. So um, got a Stormtrooper. Got Luke Skywalker. Got a sort of sand trooper, um, and then Kylo Ren and Rey are actually Disney store figures. They're not Hot Toys, but they're up there. So yeah, um, coming over a little bit further here. Got my Alien poster. Had that forever. It's one of my other favorite movies. Kind of funny how both my favorite movies were made clear back in the 70s, and they still hold up today. They're amazing, and just as popular. Um, then down here we've got some more Star Wars stuff, some plates, some cups, um, stuff like that. Now coming over here, um, we got my Bioshock wall. Um, my favorite game ever. Um, love it. Um, I kind of made all these, printed them off, framed them. Um, this one up here in the corner is my daughter and my son. They cosplayed as a little sister and a splicer. Um, and then down here is the mask that I made for him for the splicer. Uh, made that out of PVC pipe. Um, if you got questions on how I did that, put them in the comments and we can go into that. Um, down here we have my syringe 
which I made out of PVC pipe mainly and some other things. Um, it does light up so to get the effect of the inside of the glass um, and I went I found a specked out picture of the dimensions of an actual one and made it almost to the T so if there was an actual one out there floating around it would be almost identical to that so I was pretty proud of how that came out it's pretty much dead on so um, got a couple pop figures coming across here um, got my Darth Vader lamp <laughs> and I this is the most recent thing I made this is my dead space plasma cutter that I made out of PPC started with a toy gun which basically is just this part back here everything else is made out of PVC pipe um, there's some wood back here on this bottom part of it that is but and some metal bars and springs but for the most part all of this is PVC it is wired with lights so it does light up with a turquoise green so that was a fun thing to do um, feels real it's heavy I wanted to do a whole Dead Space outfit, but I haven't got around to that. Maybe still will. Um, got uh, Mad Hatter. I was out for Halloween once a couple years back. I made the hat. Um, I, it's just sitting here on a foam head on display because I don't want to really ruin it because I may wear it again. Um, then we got our NECA Alien quarter scale. Um, and then I made an Alien diorama a couple years back. If I can get out of the light, the light is not the best down here. Um, I made this out of uh, foam panels and acrylic paint and some other odd and end things here and there. Um, I do have a video, of course, on my channel of how I made all that, so that's up. Um, another autograph back there, David Prowse. Um, then I got my alien poster, and that's one of my surrounds. The other one would be over on this side, over here. You can see it with some other Maryland poster and some other home theater posters and stuff. So um, these lights above are really glaring when you're trying to take pictures or make videos. So I apologize. Um, it's just how it is. If I turn them down, it'll be too dark because there's a basement and it's just dark. Um, okay, then we've got the system here. Um, we've got um, the Pope TSI 200 speakers. Um, I built the stands for those out of 2 by and one by material. Really sturdy. Um, they worked out really well. Um, I actually made them while the speakers were on their way. Uh, I took the specs and built the top so they would set, you know, on there. Worked out perfectly good. Um, it's got this, the center, the Poke CS10. Um, they're all voice matched. Um, five and a quarter drivers. Um, sounds really good. Uh, I wanted to make sure I got all the same speakers so they'd all jive together sound good i'll be balanced um we got the poke psw 505 12 inch sub um recently got that because my old sony one died i'm still kind of tuning this one in i ran the auto calibration but i'm still kind of tweaking everything a little bit so um then down here we've got the uh uh, we got the PS3, we got the 360, don't have the PS4, Xbox One S yet, um, just don't. <laughs> um, other things called bills, haven't been able to get that stuff. And then we got uh, our Pioneer receiver, um, had that for a while, VSX522, um, it does the job. If I ever upgrade to 4K, I'm going to have to get a new one, because that will not support it in any way whatsoever, but... That's going to be new TV, new receiver, 4K player. Don't know when that will happen. So, um, TV is just an Emerson. Um, nothing special. Um, got it, like on Black Friday. Um, just, uh, it's just a 1080p cheap TV, but it pictures good. Um, I'll probably upgrade that sometime. Um, one thing I had to do, um, I was set on this speaker. But it wasn't going to fit in my entertainment system because it just was too big. It is a big speaker. Um, as far as width, height, and depth, it's big. Um, so, I had to come up with what I was going to do. What I did is I built a riser, uh, as you can see, out of one-by material. Um, just basically a top, two sides, and a back. 
drill holes in the back for cables to go through in case I needed to put something there. But it works really good. TV sets on it. It's sturdy. And then I had room for the speaker and it all works. Um, until I get a, maybe a stand later on that has a, um, a back bracket where you can attach the TV directly to it. Um, but don't really have a need for that to be honest with you. So, um, so yeah. Um, and then I do have the PC. Well, I don't have a home theater PC. I have a laptop, a Lenovo, hooked to the TV by HDMI. So that works really good. Um, it, uh, you know, it looks really good on the TV. Um, and it works until I, you know, dies on me or something. And I'll probably build me a little more of a home theater PC. Um, to have that linear grid into my components. Um, I use a um, Logitech um, mouse-keyboard combo as my home theater keyboard. Love it. Works great. Um, so yeah. So that's kind of uh, the room. Um, if you guys got questions on anything in particular, let me know. Um, I just wanted to kind of show you kind of what I had. There's been a lot of other videos that I've seen that people put up about their stuff. So I thought, well, I'll put one up there too in case anybody has any questions or any questions or anything I've made or anything. So um, if you do, um, comment below if you like my video. Um, subscribe if you like my video. I don't have too many. I'm kind of new at this. Um, I'm just recording this with my phone. So hopefully it comes out okay. So, um, so that's it. Yep. Um, let me know if you like it, and I'll try to do more in the future. Thanks, guys. Bye.